So final point, compensation. Compensation at a big company will look different than compensation at a start startup company. Even honestly, different stages of startups, the compensation looks different, but just in general. So things to think about are, it may not just be about the cash because especially an earlier stage company may not have a ton of cash to give you. Mm -hmm. So what, you know, one really big bank can give you is going to be different than an emerging startup. So there's cash. There might be more in bonus versus salary because the bonus is sort of like performative and you've earned it versus salary. I'm just giving you constantly. Yep. There's probably equity. There may also be different kinds of perks. Um, benefits may look different. Um, so just sort of acknowledging that a comp package is going to look different period, like that alone is the first sentence. But then when people ask you, well, what are your comp expectations? How should I answer it? Because I don't know how the startup might pay versus my big company that used to pay. You know, and I, I think it's it's pretty fair and they they understand that on mm -hmm. the startup side that, um, and that that's probably the concern when you're looking at the resume. It's like, okay, do they really, um, are they going to make the transition into this small, nimble culture that we've got and also how expensive are they because yeah. they're probably making x amount of dollars so you know i think if you're if you're really excited about it um you know just being open and, and trend leading with transparency of like you know this is ballpark where i'm at um within this organization i'm open and flexible to sort of getting to a place that would make sense in different ways you know and it's it's the entire package that um that really interests me and just give them a sense of like, this is where I'm at. I have them. I definitely have flexibility and kind of put the ball in their court to see how, um, cause usually as a recruiter, I'll say, you know, that is a little higher than our budget, but, um, there's all these other levers mm -hmm. of how we put together an offer. So, um, as long as you're okay with being a little heavier bonus or, um, you're really interested in in what we're building and you find a lot of promise in it. So the company's heavy equity, like mm -hmm. how comfortable are you with that, et cetera, et cetera. But um, leading with a little bit of transparency is is probably the best way. Yeah, because the worst scenario is, you know, you're at whatever, 150 and we're going to be at 75 and there we're just the gap is too big. Um, so that's often why recruiters will ask up front to have those, some of those conversations. Honestly, though, nowadays you might have some advantage as a candidate of getting a sense of where they're going to be because there are now so many states that have pay transparency laws that it, probably in the posting, you'll see it. Or if you don't see it for that company, you'll see other companies posting mm -hmm. it because they're either New York or Washington or all these different states that you have to do that. Yep, absolutely.